Uh oh. No. Oh. Hot dogs illegally doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Oh, I thought it didn't matter. I suppose heinous. Oh my God! His entire job is dedicated to stopping the vendors. <laughs> he like sits atop his building, scouting out illegal hot dog vendors. I'll see some guys down there selling weenies illegally. We can't let that slide. Having the medieval. All right. Actually, if we sneak around here. Uh oh. You'll find. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, dude, they just <laughs> left it there for anyone to find? Wait, what, how much are they selling them for? I don't know, man. Okay. What? No, they are not using a little knife to protect themselves from... It's the UK, what else are they gonna do? The kind when they're selling hot dogs in the hot dog oh, underground. Wait, this is the real star of the show. Risky challenge. Is that Pete? Controller Pete. Yes. Late in the evening <laughs> now, but we're at leave this one a bit late. We're doing a wasp nest. It's very rare to get them this time of year. Usually they die out and the females all gone somewhere to hibernate. But this one's really active. I shouldn't get started. Dude, no pest is safe. The wasp's <laughs> nest is in the loft. The trouble is, they still think it's summer. And they're still very much That's ready for idiot action. wasps. As you can see, the size of don't the even know. Oh, he just grabbed female. one. Pete what has no fear. He's gonna eat it right in front <laughs> of you. More uh, venom and more. The wasp are all in there. You can see the size of it. Oh, Did you ever see them? <laughs> so I'll see you next year for another one. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> Thanks to Pete, one Dagnum family can get back to normal. Pete's out here saving <laughs> families. <laughs> And leave Pete to he examine his prize. is a hero. Now he starts to eat them. Now he makes a surprising discovery. This is my payment. <laughs> that we've still got some more oh yeah. Pete. Essex, Come on. Oh. Who are even prepared to break into garages. And this is something that Rob and Jules are not prepared to put up with. <laughs> I, mean, I love the freeze frame the so much. Um, and this is... A rich haul, a lot of rubbish, a lot of money. I live on the borough. No, so I not a lot of money. This is garbage on, and on wood. <laughs> yeah, I feel quite passionate about it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking it's about? The story it's in the a next room full of garbage. Another flight tip here. Different sorts of waste, okay. rubble. Okay. That is a box a of and also twigs. In the next garage too. <laughs> That's like a, a toilet. Sofas, chairs, the universe is no giving you a sign. It's 3 a.m. and Mitch is on the set of more dangerous dogs. still on the prowl. <laughs> One of the spotters is in the piazza, so we don't think he's far away, but Camden is only a matter of meters. They don't even give him a car. He has to walk <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> easy feet, and we have no jurisdiction. Dude, he really is the Batman of this city. He's out at 3 a.m. hunting down these illegal hot dog sellers. Abandoning his trolleys. Since filming the show, the fly-tipped garages in Essex have been cleared of asbestos by a special team. <laughs> oh, good, I was worried. <laughs> the are still simmering. The farmer has called in Dave the Vermin. Yeah, Dave! And you get these black marks where they travel all the time. This is... What, are they walking up walls? M1 for mice. People don't realise how easy it is for mice to climb walls, but I mean that... That to a mouse is like a staircase. It's a spider rat. We're on th you got a UK rats are just built different. Got a lot of there you go. There's some down there now. Three oh my god, he I found them. About half grown and a nest of uh, what we call in the trade pinkies, which are about probably a sort of five, five, five to seven days old. So they won't be reaching adulthood, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my jeez, okay. Let's just say I'm gonna drop a firebomb in there. Dave leaves enough poison to make sure that the mice <laughs> Dave of the poisoning baby oh, they, they, leaving. Didn't they say that there could be hundreds of thousands in there and he's just like he found like four? <laughs> Did you see his stride after he poisoned the babies and then left? <laughs> This music it's sucks so bad. Yeah. What <laughs> is this? <laughs> the proudest litter picker. Hi, the proudest My litter picker. This guy is just doing community service. <laughs> Rubbish in the edges. Never grow us.
This summer, I'm just going from drunk and red. <laughs> And it's generally oh, to do with it. Why they put it the in the I couldn't this tell you here. why. This is a night where I think uh, all the kids gather and have a bit of fun before they go to bed. We're clearing up now. You're what the are they doing in nice the UK with tonight. their garbage? It's just back to hiding one. them in the hedges. He has his own views on where the kids, and for that matter society, is heading. I'm in my 60s now. We had a bit of discipline when I was a lad, I tell you. I did as I was told, not today, nothing happens. <laughs> I love not this even guy. A smack now, right? Right, that's Little Junction, nice and clean right. now. We'll plod on down this road, David. With the mower. <laughs> hey, what is going it. on? Well done. It's me and David, we've got on well together, and uh, these are little <laughs> weapons here, and then we we'll plod along all day with these, don't we, David? <laughs> So dumb. You, can tell, you can tell that the old uh, I don't know his name, the big one, the like he's got his <laughs> he's got his jacket on Zim, he's laying loose, right? He's he's been here a couple of times. And old Dave, first day of work, his boss is a fucking drunk. <laughs> he, and he's just gotta go along with it, doesn't wanna upset the guy. It feels so what, awkward, he hasn't said a word. David, because we're partners, eh? We're help pals, eh? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Two quid by the this morning. Not a word. No. This is all good. Not a word. <laughs> hey, well, that is horrible. The lady that this lives underground. Many of us have what? Quiet. She lives in a World War II bunker. Everyone uh, in what? Britain smokes, yeah, apparently. Sewage. All of these videos, the people, they just... What? Wait, what? Basically, um, we've been asked to clean this one room here, this kitchen. And then there's one bedroom, or one user um. on the side. With walls blackened by candle soot, has been Jan's home for half her life. When we start pulling stuff out, hopefully it'll go down quite quickly. But I'd like to just What the hell? What? <laughs> okay, she either has every disease known to man, or she's immune to every disease known to man. <laughs> oh my... Yeah. Do, you, do you see this? Okay, she... This is where she's sleeping, obviously. Oh, dude, British, British motherfuckers feel different. White, white sheets. Yeah, I've seen hoarders that live cleaner than this. Have you seen the photos? What? The she was beautiful. This is no. This I is the worst. I would one. not turn your back to this lady. We'll give that a clean view and give that pride. She's got like diseases from 1940. <laughs> How do? But where is the kitchen? You have stuff, you have crops well, growing in your garbage. You have so much garbage that was accumulated over so long, it has started to decompose back into soil and create an environment for crops to grow. Not mold, not mushrooms, onions! <laughs> She's created an ecosystem down here. But the rubbish has to be cleared. I want to read the comments. Oh my god, wait, hold on, go back. Did you, did you hear that screech at the end right before you paused it? <laughs> that was the, the demons. That wasn't the lady, that was the yeah, demons. That, that the was the ghost asking why all their furniture was moved. The final room he looks at is the kitchen. Oh god. Oh, I hate the kitchen so much. Source of the smell. Yeah. I think he liked his coffee with milk, I think. Lots of things. Uh, uh, Who's gonna tell milk no, isn't no, clear? <laughs> oh. They all knew it wasn't milk, right? Like, they're just calling it that because this is on, like, television. If your job is clearing houses, you can't be too narrow-minded. There's always the possibility of finding something interesting. Bit of a porno, man. Did you want that, Dave? <laughs> no, I didn't want that. <laughs> Oh look, just found these, Dave, look. What you found? Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, no messing about here, is it? It's, it's a there. miracle his hands yeah, aren't, like, sticking to everything. Find out how we dispose of this, because it's not the sort of thing you can just take down and tip, really, is it? I hope to summarise. Downs here, look. <laughs> Don't. I can't oh my god. A bit of a weirdo. I could just imagine the guy living here dressing up and all this and swinging around his swords. It may not be Graham's style, but worth a try? Wow. Perfect, mate.
Is that good? Yeah, I Nice. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> now Man, this is a grime so fighter. <laughs> time for a smoke. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar if you eat it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like so there would be a lot of those mask, jokes but... if we were on this. Yeah. And then getting in the mask and then it just stays there, so... If anything, just just face it. Just face the smell if you can. Breathe through your mouth. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Graham's gonna cry. <laughs> well, Graham. A katana porn cartons of milk bottles in the house. This is this isn't a Discord mod admin or Reddit's house. <laughs> this is a person beyond all threes. Wait, Kai, Kai, what? is that is that your other tab? Is that your um, Google Slides convince your uh, dad's yeah, like my chicken slide? Can, can, yeah, can you show I us? I can. Here, full screen. It. Give us, give us a, give us a run through. Um, did we have to read them? Yeah, you gotta read I it. Don't, out to us. There's like paragraphs of this. Just read it. <laughs> give us the highlights. Give us the spark notes. Okay. Uh, with the price of eggs on the rise, having several hens could help save on grocery store visits, especially when the grid collapses. And having our own food source allows us to not only rely, allows us to not rely on the government, and let this happen in the first place. And then I have a little statistic. Showing how over the past year that uh, egg prices have, have gone up almost double.